So I got this side channel blower or ring blower or whatever it's called. It's uh, called Seitenkanalverdichter in German. And it's a three phase motor, uh, three and a quarter horsepower or kilowatts. And it runs off three phase. But I only have one phase in my room. So we gotta turn that into three phase. I wired it in a delta configuration so it runs off 220 and not 380. And for that, the topic of this video, I got myself this little variable frequency drive. I got a few others here, a few known brand ones from uh, Fuji. Um, also 3 quarter kilowatt and 1.5 kilowatt. But I looked for a way cheaper solution on AliExpress and found these and they only cost like 40 bucks. It's really nothing. And well they can be controlled via RS485 I think and a 0 to 5 volt signal and they seem to work fine. So let's turn it on. Yeah. Right, let's I just have to configure it once. I already ran it ran it but um yeah. I have to set some things like I turn off the brake and such. On menu 1.2 it is. Uh, yes. How do I select it? No. Okay. I gotta set it to zero to turn off the brake. That's good. And well, that's it. The rest of it is already configured for 50 Hertz. And that's the configuration table. Finding data on this drive, finding a data sheet in English is not that easy. Um, I will link one in the description. Oh, let's, let's turn it on. One point five hertz, and it's quite it's it's quite silent. I expected more noise from it. Really nice. I wired it it up the wrong way, so I gotta reverse. Okay, braking still on. And that screaming is coming from the blower, um, not the motor. It's the the wings that scream. Uh, it's quite hard getting it there. So let's see if I block the out port for both. It's completely silent. Oh, I expected less from this little. Uh, BFD. Let's change the direction. It, it does what it should do and it's rated 750 watts I'm not sure about it if you think about this one is quite a bit larger and it's also rated 750 watts I put some cloth there to block uh, shavings going into it 
and yeah, but it works. I haven't have I haven't had it turn it off yet. Uh, the manual states if it's overloaded over 100% for longer than six seconds, it will shut down. But I maybe I haven't overloaded it yet to over 750 watts, or it can handle quite a bit more. Not sure. Well, let's take it apart. So I put a camera right there, so I got both hands free. I don't know if it's using field-oriented control or as may or as it's called in VFDs uh, vector control, which shapes the the waveform differently. So it's uh, so it got more torque in a lower RPM range. Usually they also run quieter. This one this one runs pretty quiet. So I, I guess it got it. To take it apart, it's really easy. Just unclip those four clips and pull it apart. There is a ribbon cable over there and the fan. And well, let's take the camera. Oh well, that's the board. Ugh. Little switch mode power supply. The main filter section, which is uh, smaller than in most uh, laptop power supplies, even. And they, and this one is running at ten times the power. Not not that good. But you always can add your own filter before it. It's running in STM32. Let me check. Can't quite see it. Which one? Looks like the same one as on the blue pill. There are some shunt resistors to measure the current, and below that heatsink, there is a chip. Uh, it's an all-in-one solution. It's a three-phase IGBT, IGBT bridge, rated for like. If I read, read the, the Chinese data sheet correctly, it's like 600 volts, 15 amps. Assuming you can cool it, this this one is already warm, so I'm not sure about its 750 watt claim. In my testing, it didn't shut down, but it has an over temperature uh, protect inside, according to the manual. So, um, well, if it runs, it runs. You always can change the fan to a beefier one, or add it, or give it a bigger heatsink. But keep in mind, everything in this is live. So there is, there is, the transformer is galvanically isolating the digital part. So you can hook up your zero to five volt and RS four eight five signals without frying everything else. But uh, the motor outputs and everything is uh, hot. It's live. Uh, what else can you see? It's Nippon Chemicon. Yeah, I don't uh, don't think that. <laughs> Not for this price. Let's take the board out to look on the underside. After turning it off, I waited a little bit. So I won't get shot. And yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I've seen worse. I've seen much worse. I will link the data sheet to this I see under the heatsink in the description. And I'll put it back together and find some use for it. So, I'm Gemma Hedy. This is a Chinese VFD from no idea who makes them. Lan. Lang Huan. Or whatever. It works. As advertised, so. 40 bucks. Not bad. Thanks for watching.